Hey there, fellow backpackers. Today, we're delving into an essential skill for anyone heading into bear country, hanging a bear bag. Keeping your food safe from curious bears is important for both your safety and theirs. So let's get started into these five tips to get the most out of your bear bag hang. I'm gonna assume that most of you know how to hang a bear bag, so I'm not gonna cover the basics here. If you need to see it done step by step, I've included an excellent video in the description. Okay, let's get into the tips. First, keep your bear bag kit on the top of your pack. As I'm walking into camp, I'm scanning the trees to find a good place to hang my bag. Go ahead and hang your bear line before you even walk into camp. It's one less thing that you'll have to do later. Also, you'll avoid the after dinner rush where if there's multiple campers in the campsite, everyone will be looking for a good branch and you'll have already done that. I like to use the PCT method to hang my bear bag. The PCT method is by far the most popular and the safest method for hanging a bear bag. Since the PCT method relies heavily on a toggle, which keeps your food safely suspended from the tree, you should be able to secure that toggle with a good knot blindfolded. The most popular knot to secure the toggle is the clove hitch. And here's how I tie the clove hitch so I can commit it to memory. First, make a loop with the cord that's coming from the branch on top of the loop. Complete a figure eight with the bottom cord also on top of the loop. Fold the two loops together like a book. Insert the toggle and then tighten everything up. If your bear bag weighs a lot and you're struggling to tie the clove hitch under all that weight, try tying the clove hitch this way. Hold the toggle in front of the line loop once around and then hold that with your thumb. That should take the pressure off the bottom of the cord so you can make a loop and pull everything through that. Most of us might only go backpacking once or twice a year so it's always tough to remember how to tie the knot. Apex Giant makes what's called a bear bag bone and this is a tool that allows you to secure your bear bag using the PCT method without having to know the clove hitch. I'll leave a link to the description below. Don't use a stick for your toggle. Many people use a stick that they find around camp. They insert it in the toggle and then the clove hitch gets really tight around it. When you pull that out, it's gonna create an abrasion against your cord and weaken and lower the lifespan of your cord. What I do is I pack in my bear bag kit one tent stake. And this is the MSR Groundhog. I use this as my toggle mainly because it's easy to insert and, and it's super easy to pull out. When you take your bear bag down, take the time to properly wrap the cord. This will save you so much frustration when you get the bear bag cord out the next night and it's not all tangled up. Hold your hand out flat and loop the cord and figure eights around your thumb and pinky finger and then stuff it into your rock sack. Bear bags can be a really controversial subject. There's strong opinions and differences uh, for doing different techniques and styles. So why don't you help move the conversation forward? Leave your tips and tricks below in the comments. Hey guys, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel. This is kind of a new experiment for me. I'm really having fun doing it. I love making backpacking videos and content and I'd love for you to come along on the journey with me. So do me a favor and, and uh, if you like my content, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can keep up with any of the latest videos that I make. Thanks.